So you have a test coming up and you're not sure how to study or which techniques to use when time is getting short, that's exactly what we're gonna cover in this video. All right guys, what is going on? Lakshir from the MD Journey, helping you succeed on your medical journey with less stress. Today I'm super excited because this is one of my favorite lessons to teach. This is actually a bonus module from one of my courses, Level Up Your Studying. You guys can check out in the description down below. Basically, I'm gonna be teaching you on study prioritization. Essentially, how do you decide what to do, what resources to use when time is short and the test or the quiz is coming up? That's exactly what we're gonna go over. But before we get to that, if you do enjoy this video, I need you to find that like button and destroy it and make sure more people in the YouTube community can find this video and get better help with their studying grievances. So make sure, like, hit that like button first. But let's get to the video. So study prioritization is just a fancy way of saying, okay, I have three to four different techniques I could see myself doing and they all seem to work. I also may have two to three resources I could use, but which one should I use to get the biggest bang for my buck for the test that may be coming Friday, today is a Monday. Basically, this is what you're gonna do and this is what I teach a lot of my students in the Level Up Your Studying course, is to create a graph with the x-axis being um, essentially time and the y-axis being retention. And then what you wanna do is to go ahead and fill in the different types of study techniques that you could see yourself using. Maybe flashcards is one of them, maybe you're rereading the syllabus or rewatching a lecture using a different resource and put them on the graph to better understand, okay, how much time would this take me and how much retention do I think I'd get from it? So for me personally, I think I get a lot of retention from using flashcards, but it doesn't take me very long because I'm really quick at it. I've been doing it for many years, but things like rereading the syllabus or watching a lecture take a lot of time and the retention is really low. So find what is particular to you and go ahead and put the different dots on the graph. Now, once you get it, I want you to go ahead and look, it should be the top left corner. So basically the things that require the least amount of time but have the highest amount of retention. This is your money zone. This is your retention zone. So basically the techniques in that box are going to be the things that you should be spending the majority of your time, and I would say 80 to 90% doing those. So if it's flashcards for you or practice questions for you, or it may be rereading the syllabus, do that and try to limit the amount of time you spend elsewhere. And I know when I heard it for the first time, I was like, man, that's so obvious, but it's also just so brilliantly simple to understand where your best options are. That way you can just get to your study schedule sooner. Now, before we end this video, I do have a bonus tip for you guys, but before we get there, make sure if you haven't to hit that like button, if you're enjoying this video, to also go ahead and subscribe. If you haven't, we're putting out two videos a week on topics just like this for people just like you. So I'm hoping you've already hit that button. But let's get to the bonus tip. So the bonus tip is you can use the same graph but instead of retention or time, you can set it for your motivation. The same thing happens when we're kind of struggling to get to the desk, but we're procrastinating, and it's hard for us to understand, okay, what can I do now with little amounts of motivation or energy? So essentially, you can change this graph around. Instead of time, you can change it to motivation and keep the retention as your y-axis, then arrange your study techniques, your resources around and say, okay, what do I have the most motivation doing that's gonna give me the most amount of retention? So again, for me, it was really easy for me to jump on my computer, do a couple of Anki cards and flashcards because it just was low effort. I just turn on the desktop application, I could do 10 and feel pretty good about myself. And so for you, those study techniques and that amount of motivation is gonna vary, but go ahead and put the dots to the different parts, but now you're gonna find the things that are on the farthest left of the graph. So things that have the most amount of motivation, but the highest amount of retention. So even if you don't do anything in a single day just because you just don't feel like it, go ahead and find those high motivating, high retention items, and I promise you, you're gonna get the biggest bang for your buck, even when your energy is really low. So that, guys, basically is study prioritization, and remember, this is a bonus module in the Level Up Your Studying course, which is a three-week course that I created for students who are struggling, or actually doing well, but just spending a little bit too much time. That's where I was, I was spending eight to 10 hours a day, and it was burning me out. So I created this three-week course to help you identify what works for you, the same way that this video helps 
you identify your best study techniques. The course is designed to make your whole study system particularly perfect for you. So if you guys want to check it out, the link will be in the description. You guys can also see what other students who've gone through the course have said and experienced in terms of results. Again, that link will be down in the description. If you guys have any questions, comment down below. Before you leave this video, if you haven't, hit that like button. Like, help your brother out, help the YouTube channel out, make sure it gets higher in the algorithm. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully I've been a little help to you on your journey. Um, and thank you for joining me on mine. I'll see you guys later. Peace.